was actually called Portland City at first. Uh, the first people came here in 1903. <laughs> You know, the firewood is actually for free. You can take two to three of those big pieces a day. Those are three. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then you can just uh, get an axe here. <laughs> if you don't have one, it's nice. So it is June 6th today. It is Thursday. And Linus, Eli, and Jacob made a nice campfire right here. And we're just roasting sausages. <laughs> Sorry, mosquito on my hand. And Emmy made... Uh, this dough that we can roast over the fire to and make uh, stick, bread. stick bread, that's right. And during the night, Mel and I, we heard a wolf. Woo! So I asked the campground owner, and he's like, oh yeah, there are a bunch of them across the street. They're in the forest. So, yay, hopefully they won't eat our sausages. How is everything? Good. Mm. Yay. That's the life. Roasting stuff over the open fire in Alaska. So we're doing hot dogs, we're doing marshmallows, and bread on a stick here. And we're like almost the only ones here at the campground. Somebody said there's a tent way back Two there. Tents. Two tents. okay. Yeah, but it's one person. But other than that, it's wonderfully quiet. All we hear is the birds. Yeah. Every once in a while there's a car or a truck going by. Peace and quiet, except the wolves at night when they howl. <laughs> Do we need more firewood? So we thought we'd try again. Yesterday it said open 6-6, six, six, which is today, and now it says on the sign, not yet. Oh, too bad. So we'll try it again tomorrow before we take off. Hopefully it's open then. Otherwise, I guess next time when we come to Alaska. Straight ahead lies Hyder, Alaska, to the right, Stewart, British Columbia. And right here is the public launch ramp. If you want to take your boat out to the ocean, just go this way. And the nicest thing right here is there are no mosquitoes here. It's awesome. And I found my bench. This is Ben on it. It's a Ben bench. It's a Ben bench. That's right, Linus. You got it. Found a little bit of something here interesting about the history of Hyder. It was actually called Portland City at first. Uh, the first people came here in 1903. That was Daniel and Andrew Lindeborg. And they established a 72 acre homestead on the dry parts of the land here. And everybody that came later had to um, build their buildings on pilings. As you can see right here, all the, the stakes are the leftovers of that. And in 1910 is when the, the boom started, more miners came out here. In 1914 they applied uh, for a U.S. post office and the name Portland City was rejected and Hyder came into being. And then the next boom was in 1918 until about 1934 when President Roosevelt fixed the gold price at $35 an ounce and from then on it started to yeah, go down with the population. In 1929 they actually had 254 people living here and in 1936 it was just merely 50 people that were left. And then by 1940 the complete piled area of Hyder was abandoned. Scraper things. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, we like Holy moly, that's huge! <laughs> like. Good job! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. 
just somebody with eyes closed or you mm -hmm. know, looking weird. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I do the same thing too. And especially digi digital. I mean, you can just delete. Yeah. That's a nice thing. Yeah. Well, so best of luck to your son's wedding. Everything oh, goes thank well. You. I'm really <laughs> excited. So we just met the owner of the bus here in Hyder. Yes. And yeah, <laughs> she was really nice and she gave us some postcards and yeah, they really are still close. They are, they are fixing up the boat and that might take a little longer. So <laughs> So they, they are really not open yet and it might take a little bit longer. So it's it's good that we talked to her and um, yeah, didn't wait to get some fish. And she told us the real story of how they killed a bear that was in her chicken coop. Yeah. Her son had to, uh, yeah, after yeah. it got in and killed a bunch of her chickens and everything. Yeah, interesting story. Yeah, so if you ever <laughs> see a picture or read a story about the dead bear at the bus, <laughs> We got the real story. Yes. We know what yeah. We just drove here and saw this broken bike under this rock and these shoes. I think somebody's still under there. I think the rock fell on that person while he was riding his bike. So we're just going through the side streets here of Hyder and there are like cars parked everywhere, like a beat up beetle over there or it's a, a golf or something and there's like this old truck sitting right here That's pretty cool, cool.